Everyone, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read Japanese manga on Linux. So, I should start off by saying I'm not necessarily a fan of this art form. I don't hate it, and I'm not going to do any, any, uh, you know, any biased stuff here. We're just talking about how to get this app working because I find it really neat that you can read this kind of stuff on Linux. It's really cool that you can do that. So you're going to need to install an app called Kamiku. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's available on Arch Linux through the AUR. It's also in it, uh, available as a source code and as a flat pack. For the vast majority of you guys, you're going to want to install the flat pack version. Now, I already have it installed, but you can copy the command here and get it working. Once you've got it installed, just search for that in your app menu, and then you can launch it. Now, I already have an, a book in my library just for, you know, I did that for the screenshots. And as you can see, I can quickly just jump to any of one of these. It may, it may take a little bit to load, but that's normal. It's, you know, it's pinging the, the servers that's hosting it. But uh, as we can see, I can read this book here. And it all works very well. Anyways, so here's how to add a book. So first you need to click the plus sign here. And uh, you can search through the servers. Now, in the article, if we go back here, I cover how to filter the languages. Now, you may want to do this because it will it will filter it through the language you speak which might be easier like I don't speak Japanese or or whatever so I'm not going to be able to read those so the way you filter languages is you click on the preference button here then you go to server languages and you just check the one that you speak and then you can close that now once you've done that once again click the plus sign find a server there is a bunch of different ones I'm gonna go with the Dragon Ball Z one because I know what to expect there. I don't. There's no crazy surprises that could get us, uh, you know, in trouble with copyright or YouTube or whatever. You know, I'm pretty sure that Dragon Ball Z is is normal. So <laughs> you can click on the DBM thing here, and that will show you a bunch of different books. You can add that, and uh, you know, there's also uh, you know, manga rock. There's, you know, if I want to read the One Punch Man. I click on that and I can click plus to add to my library you know it's all very cool and uh, once you add your book you can just excuse me access it through the library you click on it it will give you chapters that you can go through and search you can start any chapter you can add uh, you know reading directions if you want to read the traditional way you can left to right or right to left I mean if you want to read in like normal books how uh, people in the west do you can select left to right you can also select vertical you can do full screen it's all very nice and very unique uh, i really like this app just the technology behind it i'm not a huge fan of of reading comics or anything like that or, or any mangas but uh, this one appears to be loading slow so let's go back to the dragon ball z stuff in any case this is how you can read it Japanese manga on the Linux desktop. I hope this video was informative and I will see you guys in the next one.